Hello my YouTube fam. Look what I found. A nice coin that will interest you guys. That's right, we got a 1948 Benjamin Franklin half dollar. Now let's check this bad boy out under the microscope to view the widescreen view if we can. Okay. Sorry, that's about the best I can get for you. Wow, he had a big old forehead, didn't he? We, we, in God We Trust, 1948, Liberty, flip over and go for the back. United States of America again. That beautiful bird right there. E. Pluribus Unium. Half dollar. Still has that crack in it. Now you gotta admit, that is a nice looking coin. And the information on said coin, since we'll put the other way around, it's upside down. <laughs> Sorry about that. Is, <clears throat> let's see, he would, Suppose we minted in Denver. Um, composed of silver. Weighs 12.5 grams, which is a weight. It does weigh 12.5 grams. And the half dollar is a coin that was struck in the United States. Blah, 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 blah. You know, the usual stuff. 50 cent piece. Patriot founding father Ben Franklin on the observe. And the Liberty Bell on the, on the reverse. So... Ben Franklin front, let me bell back. Small eagle was placed on the right of the bell to fulfill the legal requirements. The half dollars depict a figure of an eagle. Wow, I did not know that. So basically, all coins have to have a way of depicting the eagle on it. That bad boy right there. So even I learned some information today. <laughs> Um, produced of 90% silver with a reeded edge, which is has. The coin was struck in Philadelphia, Denver, and the San Francisco Mint. So, basically we got a... I can actually keep them up right. I gotta say, he, he does look quite good, don't you think? But I just wanted to give you a little bit of information about this exact coin. This is, this is why I always uh, say check your pockets, but so we don't forget. I know this is real, but oh, we didn't. that was a staple right there. That's why. If I hit the staple again, pink, it sticks to the staple. <laughs> it does not stick to the magnet, which is a good thing. But Always check your pocket change. Try to find these bad boys at banks because some banks still sell the half dollar and the silver dollar. Ours sell, I got lucky on that one, but ours usually sell like, uh, what is it, the Sacagaweas and the Susan B. Anthony dollars. Don't really care for those that much. But, like I said, until next time, you never know where the next thousand dollars may come from. I don't know the price value of this, I'm just guessing. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful day.